take this light out, you're going to use a straight blade screwdriver. Just behind here, there's a little clip. You push on that clip. And just slide the light assembly out, just like that. That's the clip that you're pushing on. Just push down on that. And you can disconnect the sockets. Just push down on this tab, twist and this one just twists. There's two pins, there's one right here, there's one over here. We gotta take those out. Just take your screwdriver, rotate it, and then slide the pin out. Do the same on the other side. And just grab the adjuster. And just slide the light out. I'm going to tip it down a little bit. You can rotate this adjuster to the side. And disconnect the bulbs. You can either use a screwdriver and just pop these little clips off. Disconnect the bulb like this. Or you can just take the socket, the bulb, and just slide it out. Now you can take the bulbs out of the assembly, the new assembly. Sometimes these are test bulbs, so it's a good idea to either reuse your old ones or replace them with new ones. Slide the old one back in. Lock it in place or connect it. And then slide this back in position. Grab the adjuster and twist it up. And just line up the headlight, the holes, take these pins, get the pins started, get the other one started as well. And push them back into place. Might have to wiggle them a little bit. and lock it down. Do the same with this one. Lock it in place. Take the adjuster and just push that right there. Now take this light assembly, slide the socket in position. Just twist, same with this one. Lock it in and then slide these tabs in. There's a slot. Line this up and lock it in place. After you're done, you want to make sure you do an alignment on the headlights and just take a Phillips head screwdriver and this is where the adjuster is. Just rotate it right to left and make your adjustments. This is going to be a general tutorial on how to aim your brand new TRQ headlamp assemblies. Okay, so looking at your brand new TRQ headlamp assembly, you're going to see where your low beam is and you'll see a little dot right in the center. And that is the access point, okay? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna mark that with an erasable marker, just so it's easier to see. Next, what we need to do is measure from the level ground up to this point and take note of that measurement. Now we're just gonna pull the car up to our wall. On our vehicle, we remember that the measurement was 28 inches for our access point. Your vehicle may be different, but that's where I'm gonna put this tape, just above that 28 inches. We'll do the same on the other side. Okay, so let's just back the vehicle up, straight back, 25 feet from the wall. And now that we moved our vehicle 25 feet back from the wall, we're gonna start with our measurement here. That's where the headlamp center is. We're gonna go down four inches on the driver's side. On the passenger side, we have our line here. What we need to do is go down two inches. To adjust the driver's side, we're gonna cover our passenger side headlamp. If you look at the back side of your headlamp assembly, you're going to see something that looks like this. This is the adjustment. Some of these headlight assemblies have one, two, or even more of them, but you should at least have one. This is how we're going to adjust the headlight beam. Now we're going to lower the top part of the beam down to just below this line. When you turn the adjustment to the right, it brings the beam up, and if you turn it to the left, it'll bring the headlight beam down. And this is this way on most vehicles. 
Let's continue on to doing the passenger side. All right, we properly aligned our TRQ headlamp assemblies. Okay, and on the quality TRQ headlamps for a pickup truck, the procedure is going to be the same. You're going to find your center dot, mark it, and then you'll measure from the level ground up to your dot. So once your headlamps are properly adjusted, it'll be time to adjust your fog lamps. You'll notice on the driver's side, the focal point is all the way at the bottom right now. I would like to bring it up so it meets up with approximately the bottom of the focal point of the headlight. Some fog lamps have an adjuster, others don't. The ones that do have an adjuster, you would just turn the adjustment to the left or to the right to adjust the beam up and down to where it needs to be. Now with your TRQ headlamps and fog lamps properly aligned, you can drive down the road safely.